Hello, in this video I'm going to take a look at the Let Us Claim This Money email and I'm going to show you a few different methods that you can use to determine if this email is fake or not. And to start off, it was sent to me in French, so I need to translate it to English, so I'm going to click the View Translated Message. Now it's in English. There's a lot to this email, it's just terrible. I'm going to start right here before I even read anything. Right here you have Tan Boon Mang Richard is who sent this to me, right? Now if you look down here, he names himself Richard, Mr. Tan Boon Mang. And then down at the bottom here, it's Mr. Tan Richard Boon Mang. So he wrote his name three different ways in this one email. That's a big heads up right there. The next heads up is right here where it says share. If it was actually somebody who knew me or was going to send me a bunch of money, they would know my first name. They only put that there because they don't know my first name. And they sent this email out by the masses. So the first sentence starts out, my name is Richard Mr. Tan Boon Mang, a Singaporean citizen and a seasoned banker in Malaysia. I occupy the position of an accountant in this branch. It is with good spirit of heart I open this great opportunity to you. It is a client of mine who died from heart failure because of the family died in the tsunami disaster in China in 2008 and has 9,500 million U.S. dollars with us was called due to the unavailability of next of kin relatives to claim his inheritance after the deadly earthquake in China. So right here, they're trying to make you feel sorry for him, trying to get you to believe that something very bad happened to this family and that there's money available from this family. The next paragraph, since none of the family relative is alive to claim this fund after the bank have waited until now to all parents next report to the surface in our custody. The grammar's so bad I can hardly even read it. I decided to contact you quickly so I may present you as the next parent report to my client late so that the bank will wire the funds directly into your bank account. You do not need to worry about this transaction. It will not get involved in any problem in your country so I will provide the legal documents in your name and favor. The last paragraph. Given this, I ask for your cooperation and understanding to stand as close to the deceased relative so that we can claim the inheritance before the period given by the flow of the bank. If you are interested and in agreement with me, back to me quickly and I will send you more information you may need to proceed without coming to Malaysia. And be assured that it is risk-free project and the proceedings will be shared 50% each as soon as you receive this email. Please respond immediately to your information including your full name, full address, and phone number for easy communications with Okay, so pretty much already just out of the contents of this email, it's obvious this is not good. But because there are people who still fall for this type of email, I'm going to show you a few different ways to tell that this email is bad. I'm going to start off copying the domain of his email, which you can see it ends in PE, that stands for Peru. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to run it through IPNet info. And there you have it. It's from Peru. So I'm going to close it out. So now we know it's coming from Peru instead of Malaysia. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to show original. Copy the entire email. Go back to IPNet info. Paste that into the box. Click OK. So it bounced from the Google server in California, went to Peru, stayed in Peru, then went to Nigeria, and then back into Colorado. Of course, these are your big heads up. Nigeria is your biggest heads up. You see Nigeria, it's done. Spam this thing out and get rid of it. And that's exactly what we're going to do with this. So from the contents of the email, and from putting the email through IPNet info, we can definitely determine that this email is fake. Don't fall for this. This is one of the classic Nigerian scams, and people will fall for it. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.